after base coat, I'll be applying two coats of a white polish. Now with a flat brush, dip the corners into black and white paint and do a few test strokes until you're confident with the color ratio. Build up the colors until you're happy with the transition. You can also go back in with white and black individually to intensify those colors. Drag a toothpick around the edge of the nail bed to get rid of any excess paint, then apply a layer of top coat. Now for the spider. With brown paint, I scribbled in his circled thorax and an oval abdomen, then a small bump for his head. I added four lines to the sides of his body, and then from there, I added one more small joint. Any mistakes can be easily scratched off with a toothpick if your top coat is dry. Next, I added in the long parts of his legs, directing the top two up towards his head and the bottom two down. Then I used a light brown to highlight his body and a darker brown to shade. With the darker brown, I also shaded his legs. I added a little bit of white highlight to his legs, and lastly, I used a gray to add a drop shadow. If you enjoyed, or hated, this arachnophobia nail design, let me know by leaving me a thumbs up. And can you guess what next week's phobia will be?